Yeah, I'm gonna get something to drink and then I'll be right back and we'll finish this game. Be silly. Come on, silly music. You can do it. <laughs> She's like, I won't be silly. I won't be silly. Free silly music. <laughs> All right, we're done with that now. Though, now it's time for the serious. It's time for the super serious. Enter the survival horror. <sighs> time to enter the survival horror of Resident Evil. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're really close to the end of this game. So I, this game is not going to last very long. Um, and I will probably put up a poll for what the next game should be. Um, approaching the Queen Zenobia now. Rendezvous with like with one or two hall. options that Roger, won't be Resident waiting. Evil. So somebody can okay, break the Resident soon. Evil if Chris they want out. to. But <laughs> that only, that, that'll sort of That's depend it. on if there's more than one person Queen here. Zenobia. If it's just you and me, oh, then I'll be like, more like what's left of her. All right, what should we do next? <laughs> Stay sharp. There's something out there. Oh God, I forgot about this chapter. Oh, I I feel like I remember this now, and I hate it. <laughs> I forgot that there's a fucking auto scroller boss in this game. <laughs> I'm overheated. far enough in either direction. Oh, here we go. I can shoot these ones. God, this era where they were just like, we gotta have an auto-scroller shooter section in like every level. <laughs> it's just like, why? <laughs> Fuck you. I think my Gatling gun has a grenade launcher. I missed. Shit. 
Oh, my grenades re regen over time or something? Are we actually getting closer to the ship? I think we are. This feels added. I don't feel like this was in the 3DS version. This feels added. Need to heal again. I'm out of heals. I'm. I'm it might have been in the 3DS version, but it feels so new. Is that where we're going? We need a good spot to board the Zenobia. So we're done. Thank God. <laughs> I was worried that I'd just sit there and die a whole bunch during that. Jessica, we have a promise to keep. Let's go. Great. A cruise, just the two of us. Only the whole thing is sinking. Friendly BSAA patrons, you stopped the Radia Solis. Now I will reveal what I know. Everything yeah, about the Queen Zenobia and the secret she keeps. What secrets? Except it has bad controls. Consider this. First, why did it take till now to find the Queen Zenobia? How was it able to float around the Mediterranean undetected? Yeah, it good question. Magic. Second, why did all traces of Veltro vanish after the Terragrigia panic? Why don't you tell us, huh? huh? And third, why is someone trying to use the Regia Solus to destroy the Zenobia? The answer to those questions will lead you to an inconvenient truth. You were to have found it, and that... Oh no, he was gonna tell us the whole thing. But Jessica stopped him. Jessica, why did you fire? To protect our people. Isn't that our job? No. Don't you dare die. Oh no, it was Raymond. What? Why? Why play the part of Viltro? It could have been. It could have been a really cool Star Fox-like game. I got an A even with 18% accuracy. Wow. It must not take much to get an S on that level. <laughs> I'm not even going to save. We're just going to keep going. Storyline in this game is actually sort of, sort of good. I won't make too much fun. What a terrible loss. The ship doesn't have much longer. We can't let this virus contaminate the sea. We've already searched the Queen Samiramis. So I think I know where this ship's lab is. We're headed there now. All right. I'll try to find a way to delay the sinking. Jessica, you with me? Yeah. Well, a little friendly partner swapping should keep us on our toes. Roger that. We'll take care of the virus. You two buy us some time. Got it. Jill, this works anywhere, even underwater. It should slow those things down. Thanks, Chris. Also, I've marked off all the possible locations for the lab. <laughs> he never got the hint. What a drag. Maybe he's already taken, Jessica. Now so we get to play Jill doing? and Chris. I think we've only heard half the story. It's a lot about this mission that doesn't make sense yet. Back, Chris. Thanks for joining us, Chris. 
You couldn't do it without your cramps. Ready to go back underwater? Because that's, that's what we gotta do. Just go directly back underwater. <laughs> you marked off locations that the po possible locations for the lab? Where? My map shows no markings of really any kind. What do you mean you marked off the directions for the lab? I hope it's I hope he doesn't mean he marked him off on the mini map. Oh, I don't need to use a pulse grenade on him. Besides, I literally only have oh wait, did he give me five? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe. Hurry. Maybe he gave me a lot. Really? Careful. The water is infested with infected. Roger that. Roger that. God, Chris. You know, as much as I make fun of him, this is actually legitimately Chris's best voice actor. Like, this guy actually does a really good job with the part. He's very, like, uh, he has a very, like, soldier and, like, experienced kind of air to him. He does a very good job playing Chris. As much as I make complete fun of it all the time, he actually truly is pretty damn good as Chris Redfield. He really, truly, like... <laughs> I make fun of him like crazy, but like, he's, he actually is really good. Like, let's be real. <laughs> yeah, they, they got this same guy for Chris in like m several of their game. Once they got him for uh, Resident Evil 5, he's been doing Chris literally until 7. Seven was the first game where they recast him. And the reason that they recast Chris for Seven is because they were gonna make, they wanted to, they were doing the whole real actor, real model thing um, for Seven. So like, the I, I'm pretty sure the guy who voices Chris in Seven is like the guy who he looks like. Like, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's true. I could be wrong. I guess I'd have to look that up, but I, it's, I'm, I'm fairly certain. So I'm, uh, yeah, they, they recast him for like everything else though. That's the, that's the only time. So Chris in seven and eight is not this guy, but Chris in five, six, this game, uh, that might be it. Marvel vs. Capcom, cause he's still a gorilla there. Anytime you see gorilla Chris, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Whenever Chris is a gorilla, he's voiced by this guy. Down here? Where? Okay. How do we get? Where are you going? I lost you. Chris. This door? Is this, is this the proper door? Yes. Man, I haven't played MBC3 in a long time. That's a good fighter. It's one of the few that I actually can play pretty well and like actually do really enjoy. And I'm just following Chris. Jill, try using this. Jill, I'll give you the trident key. Found that key on the Samiramis. The ships are exactly the same. The lab should be this way. I'll give you the key. Some incredible character mods. I only have it on. I don't think I have it on PC. I only have it on. Uh, I only have it on uh, PS4, PS3, whatever the hell it was on. There's a security lock. It looks like a fingerprint fingerprint recognition system. See, and what would Resident Evil be without a lab, right? And so at the very end of the game, where are we? We're at the lab. Because of course there's a lab. 
I don't know that this lab is very long, but of course there's a lab. Right? Like... I almost forgot what game I was playing for a minute there. That I need to, like, scan so I can get an extra pulse grenade. Registering fingerprint. Wow, really? Registration complete. Holy shit. That's like a reason to buy it on PC, I guess. Like double the character roster? Wow, people have people have gotten kind of crazy with that, haven't they? I legitimately never played that game seriously. I only ever played it for fun. So, like even if the characters are like even if there's a couple characters that are like ludicrous and they just aren't it's like wow i can't believe that this character exists like you you people thought this was balanced i would still probably have fun with it because it's just like you know i just always played that game just to fucking fuck around so like <laughs> a, a what a scarmiglione scarmiglione development document oh my god that's what you we're gonna just call it Skarm, okay? Whenever I read that, I'm just gonna read Skarm. I'm gonna leave the Iglione off. I, I get it, but I'm just gonna leave it off. <laughs> Skarm is a BOW that utilizes the well-suited DNA of a shark. The genetic makeup of sharks has changed very little during their history as predators for millions of years. And the use of that DNA provides the fierce aggression in these weapons. The Skarm's form and color rem resembles that of its shark ancestors, and its spiny appendages resemble lances. The spines are a characteristic of cart cartilaginous, uh, cartilaginous fish. <laughs> these, are, these are words. These are big science words. I'm not a big science guy. I don't know big science. I don't science. Okay. They form <laughs> when an area of placoid scales mutate and combine with hardened muscle fiber. This allows the creatures to use piercing attacks and move with as much agility as land animals. On top of this, the scales are as strong as an armored car, far surpassing the scales of a normal shark. This gives them unparalleled frontal defenses. Ish with a lot of cartilage. Yep. It's just reading these words. It's not necessarily like that I don't really get it at all. It's it's I mean I do not really totally get it, but I do, you know? It it's more about now sterilizing. Please wait. Oh. Chris. Chris, why are you over there? Chris, we're gonna have a problem if you're over there. What the Is about to be bad, Chris. Oh shit. Chris. Chris, I have a problem. Chill. Chill. Yeah, Chris. I have a problem. I'm gonna kick it. Ow. I'm a skin. Oh God. Run me. Eh. Oh God. with your Chris fists. <laughs> Chris, it punched you with its Chris fist. Oh God. Chris has got a sword and shield. What do we do against the monster with a sword and shield? Shoot the fight. Oh God, run, Chris. Ah. <laughs> oh my God, Chris. It has no, oh my God. Chris, did you kill it? You got it. 
Okay, thanks, Chris. It's okay. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I only took half my health. As in, I actually only took, like, all my health and had to heal. That's actually what happened. Okay, Chris? Good? Okay. <laughs> I think Chris is good. I don't think Chris is all messed up. Oh, Chris, you had an item in there. You didn't find it. Dude. There's literally illegal customization parts in your in your section, Chris. Why didn't you get that? Man. Let me down. What is that? That is a magnum. Just kind of there. Now my shotgun got put away. It didn't even ask me, do you want to swap weapons? It just was like, you need this. <laughs> is it easy? It is. Because, like, you know, there's that cart that like that cartilage word, for example, uh, which I can't even think about. The cartilingus or whatever. <laughs> cartilingus. <laughs> okay. That's not what it was. Um... <laughs> But anyways, the cartilage word, um, it, it, like, I knew it had to do with cartilage, right? And it was, with contact clues I could get, it was probably a, a, a fish with lots of cartilage or something. Like, it, like, cartilage -y fish. Like, you know, I could, I can kind of get it. Like, you, that, that's how a lot of these big science words in a lot of these games end up working in the first place, is because... Like legitimately, facilities on a cruise ship. it's not like very many people know what all this shit means, anyways. Like, good point. I hope we can find out what the hell's going on. It's like how Star Trek can do techno babble, but everybody still knows what's going on. Is because like with the context clues, you you can get what the proto matter in the flux stabilizer that's threatening the warp core. You know, with the context clues of all of everything they say around it, you can get what all that is. Somewhere in this research area. So this is the secret of Zenobia. Which none of what I said is correct, but you know. <laughs> like a good example, actually, is because I actually, honestly, um, I, I do now. But, like, when I was first watching Star Trek, I didn't know the concept of inertia, right? I, didn't, I really true, like, I don't know. I don't know the concept of inertia. All I really understood about inertia when I was first watching Star Trek as a young lad, I can't save, um, is that, like, they have an inertial dampener, right? And when the inertial dampener goes offline, they're shaking all over everywhere. They're being flung around the ship. It's terrible. And that's that that is the kind of context clue I'm talking about, right? Like you know exactly what an inertial dampener does because when it goes offline and they're all worried about the inertial dampener, they're flying all over the walls. <laughs> oh. I couldn't save because it was the end of an episode. Now I'll be able to save. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever noticed that. I did now. I got an S. Even though I got an A on that one mission. I didn't even know I did three episodes there. Oh, the, the first one was last night. Okay. That's why I felt like there was only two chapters. Because there was. On Resident Evil Revelation. We don't care. Literally just played the whole goddamn game back to back. Like, well, almost back to back. I don't need no previously. Oh, are we seriously back to these flops? I was going to say a bad word, but wow, I've, I've changed wow, wow. it. I changed it to flops. Whoa, that's amazing. What the? I hear that when the screen turns off and power goes out, rapidly pressing on the keyboard helps. I didn't do anything. It's in the wreck of a plane. It's out of power. What? It was amazing that it worked in the first place. 
Where's the batteries the upside then? Is, this whole conspiracy is becoming clearer. We have to get back to the airport on the double. Hey man, so hold up. Nobody's home. Even the other team's packed it in. So what are we doing here? <laughs> it's okay. I set up a back door. I can use any PDA to get us in. Well, why didn't you say that earlier? If my theory is correct, then the truth about Veltro is really... too early to say. Are you kidding me? I don't want to jump to conclusions. I need more intel. for the camera geez all right let's find that computer there's an area we haven't explored over here my only hope is that it has a high-powered cpu that would be kids wow way to date yourself it's a bow i knew that Yep, he's actually right. Veltro has not been involved so the entire time. Around and Veltro came back. So they had to shake this up. No, now's not the time for conspiracy theories. Except for that's exactly what this is. This whole thing is conspiracy theory land. Well, this looks like a there's literally two rocket launchers there holy crap this is gonna be a pain in the ass There's a magnum up here. It's not me. I need more power. The MB twenty eight's a real gas guzzler. There's got to be a generator around here. I need it. I'm gonna leave the magnum for now. You stay here and spend quality time with your girlfriend. Why are there so many guns? A whole bunch of healing. Even more healing. Here we go. I hope this rusty piece of crap works. There's not enough power to fully charge the MB-28. Are there any other generators? Yes, you could have gone over here and turned it yourself. <clears throat> and that starts the combat, right? The massive right, combat that's in this room. So you get anything? It literally has well, two rocket launchers to deal with it. First. But that should only take a few minutes with me and my baby MB-28. I'm on it. Leave these guys to me. Oh, 
Oh god, hello. Back into this little corner here of mine. Yeah, I'm almost out of machine gun ammo. Almost had a shotgun ammo. It's another invisible monster. Watch out. Be careful. Shit. This is enough to make a grown man cry. Ow. Oh, hey, I shot him. But we still got hostiles to deal with. Right, don't let them get this data. Good luck. Thanks. I'll kill some for you. And keep that genie in the bottle until I come back. Okay, I think it's safe to have a look at this data now. Ready? I had one enemy left when it got over. And I didn't use the rocket launchers. Use just about everything else, but I didn't use the rock on right, right, that explains it. Explains what? Who's behind Veltro? Yeah, probably. There's only one way to find out. Let's ask him ourselves. Uh, this is Forkball. O'Brien here. Huh? What the hell? O'Brien's our man? Director O'Brien. I think I put it all together. Veltro was never back in action. It was all smoke and mirrors orchestrated by yourself. Your own little Veltro production. All to get into the head of one certain somebody. Ah, uh, you pretty much got it. Glad I'm not paying you for nothing. Uh-oh. I analyzed his log, sir, and there's something you may want to see. Then let me see it. Yes, sir. I'll send it immediately. What's going on? Connection error? Oh, we've been detected! Oh. Hey, Quinn! Two boys, uncovering secrets, want to get her alive, just like the Falcon and the Snowman! You want to start with your machines, idiot? Dude! Hold up! I'm on!
Nope. What a disaster. You see that? It started downloading behind him. Quint and Keith are still alive! Some fucking how. And they still have a computer that works. Some fucking how. <laughs> How does that work? Fucking, I don't know, man. But it does. That's the virus. Yep. Right. It's the virus. We need to stop the virus from getting out. I know. The control system must be in the lab. Chris! Oh, God. Ah, I like that he does that. It's fun. It's funny. And it works perfectly to show you that this is how you see them, because he pulls it out, right? This is how you see the lasers, and by the way, there's lasers. Because <laughs> Chris just runs his face directly into them. It's just like, oh. Okay. Good job, Chris. I found them. <laughs> Joe, there's lasers. Yes, Chris. Yes, there are. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that was probably not really truly meant to be as funny as it was. But holy shit. <laughs> well, I love that. That was that was truly something else. Oh God! Machine gun ammo case. I somehow don't think I'm gonna get to maximum machine gun ammo. You seem to think I might, game, but. Like, 600 bullets? Holy shit! <laughs> How could I ever find that many? Whoa! Now you can carry 600 machine gun rounds. Oh, okay, yeah? Is that how many I can carry? What is there, a secret stash of like 500 around here somewhere? Because, like, that's what it's gonna take. Beltro Agents Journal 2. 2004. Mission elapsed time two plus days. The mission was a success. Terra Grigia is now a full blown hell on Earth. We unleashed the ultimate virus to rend the city with terror and violence. The FBC sent in its soldiers, but they were like lambs before lions. We have achieved our goal. The world will know that they do not have to wait for hell. It's already here. Open your eyes, world. Open your eyes to the truth. Bernard Corti. 2004. Mission elapsed time of five plus days. Five plus days. Wouldn't it be plus five days? Anyways. Uh... This ship has been contaminated. The virus has turned my comrades into horrible monsters. And these monsters turn everyone else into monsters. Why is this happening? We were going to bring hell to the masses, not have hell brought to us. The same thing is happening at the, at the, Cere the Semiramis. The virus has contaminated all the ships. It cannot be a coincidence. Someone was using us all along. But who? None of us would ever betray Beltro. And... 
the only one who would do this is our mysterious financer. He's the only one who's not here. Norman, we need your guidance. Deliver us from this evil. Oh, Norman is their leader. Sorry. <laughs> the rest of the paper is me. Someone used Veltro? What? What do you mean? Oh no. Evil zombie. Can't even scan it. Also zombie. Oh god, zombie, get out. No oh, zombie. one I think this is the lab's control system you think does it work we need a passcode to activate the neutralizing agent Okay, I'll sweep the lab, see what I can find. Good. I need some time to figure out these controls. I'm Chris. I'm gonna sit here and figure out these controls. You go do all the hard work, Jill. Thanks, Chris. Picked up parts, custom parts work. Narrow one. Long magazine four. Reloader one. Loader. Ups reload speed. Shotgun scatter range becomes narrower by negative four degrees. I see. Yeah. Do, do. A weapon at the top of its class when it comes to power. Except it's not. Whoa, where'd I get these shotgun? What? Where'd I get the G36 and, this, and the M3 from? What? Why did it give me the... I'm not gonna question it. Oh, it's a little weaker. Higher capacity, higher firing speed, but it's actually a little weaker. So never mind. Never mind. Close hit. Put up the reload speed. I had, I had the stopping power up by 100%, though, which I still think is a better idea, to be honest. Does this have four slots? It does. It's a little weaker, though. It's, it has more capacity. Wow, that machine gun fires really fast. Has piercing ability. Oh. Oh, so does this, though. And this actually has a higher rate of fire. This is actually slow. This is a slow machine gun. Well, now this is like specialized for rapid firing and it's a 7.5 firing speed. And so is this. <laughs> like, excuse me? <laughs> Doesn't seem like it's faster. It sort of seems like it might be exactly the same speed. So this is more powerful right 1500 versus 1200 yeah so yes it is more powerful okay we're gonna take the shotgun then. we're not gonna bother with the the pipe on it <laughs> we're not gonna bother with magnums yet we're gonna continue on with the weapons i've been using basically i see lots of other possible builds i reject them i cracked the code on the door Careful in there. Will do. You can count on it. 
Thanks. Thanks, Chris. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Here. You can see that 3D on, 3D on the 3DS really helping here, right? Water shotgun shells. I told you to be careful. Who knows what kind of BOWs we're up against? Jesus, Joe! I told you, be careful! What are you doing? Hitting windows! Oh, God. I know what kind of BOWs we're up against. Fucking shark bitches. Ow. I hate it. Ow. <laughs> I scanned him. Nice. One shot. One kill. Yes, I know. Oh God. Ran away. Ran fat, Sergio. God, those things are a pain in the butt. the most interesting lap they're just going straight on the laboratory map three magnum bullets yeah I could see why you might want to just be using a magnum for these things this device is used for inoculations uh, that sounds like a good thing I can copy the passcode here but I need an employee number for Uh, call Chris. Maybe he knows. Oh. There's the employee number. Gotcha. There's gonna be more monsters on the way back, I assume. Oh. That's gonna be on the way back. Oh, look! Great. We're gonna be swimming with the fishies. It's gonna be great. The 
Infection log for Queen Zenobia. Researcher Ryan. ID 503321. 2004. After the final note was played in the tragedy known as the Terra Grigia Panic, we seized the ship and began to carry out our mission quickly and secretly. The Regia Solus destroyed the city. Now the ship is the only place where we can observe the spread and mutation of the T Abyss along with ancillary research. This is the perfect environment to conduct research and we must make the most of it. The only setback is the host in hosts infected with the T Abyss virus. This will make research very difficult for us. It will not last long as a place of research and science before the entire place is overwhelmed with creatures. We must act quickly. 2005. Our research on the virus has proceeded rather smoothly. We were able to develop a proper vaccine. With all our goals accomplished, there is no longer any need for the ship. We've decided to abandon it. A few members of our team did not survive long enough to see this moment. Eh. And that is the... Oh my gosh. And that is the cost of doing research. The, it is. When we told Lansdale about our breakthrough with the vaccine, he showed uncharacteristic felicity. Okay. There is something scribbled in after an area where the pages are torn out. Alright. As soon as the research data was sent, the doors to the facility were shut and the BOWs awakened from their cryogenic sleep. I don't understand how I could have... How I could have missed seeing that Veltra wasn't the only disposable pawn in all of this. Almost funny, really. I see now that it was he who arranged for all these things to come to pass. He gave the terrorists the T-Abyss virus, which led to the Terra Grigia panic. That gave us lots of valuable data on infection, which led to the eventual development of the vaccine. And thanks to his position of authority, he used the Regia Solus to eradicate the virus, the terrorists, and all the fools in that city. Any traces or links to us vanished with it. The end result, however, is that the world is now afraid of the virus, and the FBC's charter has been strengthened and expanded. I am awestruck with the degree of perfection in which Lansdale orchestrated all these events. He is one for the history books, to be sure. Hopefully, the demand for this vaccine will bring the rest of us to the rest of us the accolades and riches we so justly deserve. The rest of the scribble is legend. Chris, you're not going to believe what I just learned. Morgan Lansdale of the FBC was behind the attacks on Terra Grigia. So that's what Raymond was talking about. Seems like it. All I have is circumstantial evidence. Nothing to nail him for it yet. I'm not gonna have to remember that, am I? That code. I know Code Veronica sure would make me remember it. Is this game gonna make me remember it? Downloading data. Please wait. No. It is not. Well, that seems really bad. It's like all fucking. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like all. It's all virus. So we need to, uh. Vaccine has been injected. Downloading data. Please wait. There we go. <laughs> now we won't die. Download complete. Can't open the door anymore. Jill, Jill, come in. Do you read me? Answer me, damn it. This is an emergency. 
emergency. Get back here now. There was an item out there. Shit! I don't remember the way out! I apparently needed to just know the way out? Or can I just swim over him and I'm just a fucking idiot? <laughs> I might just be able to swim over him. Hold on. Jill, are you okay? Oh, oh, run back under. Why'd she do that? Jill, I got the passcode. Good work. Now let's neutralize that virus. Damage five? Charge shot two? What's charge shot two? Shotgun charge shot? Oh my gosh. Charge time is long, but firepower goes up. Shotgun charge shot. I think we can get rid of stopping power for shot for shotgun charge shot. Nice. All right, no rifle, more magnum. And holy shit. 27 Hundred. Is my critical up on my rifle? Yeah. Just up the reload speed. Actually, that's what I'm gonna do is up the reload speed. Legitimately, the reload speed is like its biggest problem, so. It already does a, just a stupid amount of damage, so. Okay, yeah, it's a really long charge. Oh, I just wasted a magnum bullet. Oh well. It's fine. There's more. They're over here. Okay. Used passcode. Authorization confirmed. Initiating virus neutralization program. Your 
activities have been eye-opening. Morgan Lansdale. I knew O'Brien and his dog Raven were snipping around my business. I didn't account for your involvement, however. That was my only mistake. So it was you. You attacked Terra Grigia. Chill, look out. It looks like my mistakes are about to be remedied. Oh god, there's a sh there's a shooter one. Oh jeez, there's a couple of them. I really actually should have my machine gun. Oh God, Chris, you have a problem. Mega Man zombies. Yeah, yeah, they do. They fire, they fire, they, their arms are little gun things. I don't know why he was just standing there. Ah! Oh. Bad. Hand grenade. It's got a TV screen with a bad guy. Yeah, right? <laughs> Raid stages 13 through 17 unlocked. Nice. Jeez, episode 10? A lot of episodes in this game. Significantly more episodes in this game than there are in uh, Resident Evil 5. Previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Director O'Brien, I think I put it all together. They're so somewhat, they're almost somewhat the same uh, length too. So this game's like, as long, if not longer, than Resident Evil 5. 
And it's just a little 3DS game. Like, this game was impressive. It really was. Especially on the 3DS. Like, this was a really impressive hits. game. What a drag. Maybe he's already taken, Jessica. Yeah, sure. Can we get started already? Sure. We've been through hell before. It's nothing new for us. Yeah, just like old times. The good old FVC. So, what's the plan? Get to the bridge, activate the bulwarks. And pray the ship stops sinking. Now that the power's back, we should be able to access the maintenance system. Okay. We should split up then. There's something I need to check on first. Okay, fine. I'll see you on the bridge. Okay. Which is that way? I should have done the cafeteria. Jessica? Why split up, Jessica? Why does you has to be... What other guns do I have here? Machine gun, shotgun, handgun. Like, the only thing that I honestly think is somewhat annoying about this game is its tendency to constantly change your character and what you're doing from, uh, from chapter to chapter. Like, you, you, you mostly just want to play the chapters where you're playing as Jill. Oh god. No. Oh god, hello Rachel. Please don't, Rachel. I don't have weapons to deal with- oh my lord. Oh, whoa. She's back. I didn't get a scan off either. Ow. Ow. I'm really sick of seeing your face. I'm dead. Holy moly, how am I supposed to deal with that? Shh. Rachel is not something I can just like fucking take on. He doesn't have the weapons for that. Huh. 
Well, I don't want you to have my blood. Okay. Cool, he does have the weapons to deal with her. At least to get her to fall down. Okay, he has the weapons. It's just kind of rough. Especially considering what he has. Oops. Oh well, hope I didn't need that. I'm not getting lost though, dude. I am running low on ammo, but getting lost is not a term I would use for what I'm doing. This machine gun seems really powerful. At least I don't think it's one. Yeah, head through here. You go right up here. Problem is, there's no ammo. And the bridge is to the right. Well, it's not the bridge, is not But a door that leads to a door that can get me to the bridge is, is the bridge. Hello. That is the door to the bridge. <laughs> no, I have to get to the bridge. No time for getting lost. Ow. Oh, now I'm out of range. Shit, I need heals. Yeah, I just used mine. Oh, 100%. She didn't want to drink. As I recall, she said she was going to order lobs lobster. talking about we don't have time to Parker subdue that woman Raymond how oh. but you you were <laughs> she's trying to activate the ship's self-destruct mechanism to destroy the evidence what <laughs> guys this is getting out of hand not funny come on Say something. Parker, it's me. I can't trust you completely. Not yet. Put your gun down, Raymond. You're too soft. Don't be fooled, Parker. I'm 
knew O'Brien had a lap dog. I'll tell Morton it was you. <laughs> Jessica! Don't worry about dinner. Now we're even. I'm sorry, Parker. Why isn't it all the sexy women in in uh in Resident Evil are always working with the bad guys? Like you got Ada Wong who's like working with it, working with Umbrella and all this shady shit the whole time. And you got this Jessica, and she happens to, she's a mole working with the bad guy. <laughs> Why is that a thing? <laughs> all the sexy ladies are always bad guys. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> I swear to you, if you see a lady in Resident Evil and she is wearing high heels as part of her outfit, she's evil. Like, she just is. <laughs> it's just the truth. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Oh my god. I hope nobody was in there. Oh. That's the other ship. So no, nobody was in there. Well, the proud Queen Samiramis. She chooses death rather than suffer indignity. As will the Queen Zenobia. Self-destruct sequence initiated. All personnel evacuate immediately. This sequence cannot be aborted. Repeat. Checkmate. It appears my bright young assistant has made the last move. Now, have I made things clear to you? Clear as day. Now we finally have a target. Start <laughs> counting, Morgan. <laughs> Not the most original last words, but best of luck, gentlemen. Gentlemen? Wow. Chris is not a gentleman. Or er, Chris. Chris. <laughs> He's right. not, but <laughs> we gotta get out of here. I would honestly say that word that term does not fit Chris. But anyways. <laughs> He's neither gen He's not gentle at all. He has no gentlemanly qualities to him. <laughs> He's a gorilla. <laughs> but uh, no, I was saying Jill is not is not gentleman. Jill is a lady. Although, you know, perhaps also only kind of. <laughs> it depends on how you qualify that term. I don't know how people qualify that term these days. Okay, thanks for the... Thanks for the hint, Chris. You jump down. Oh, do we need to swim now? Swim me, swim, swim, swim. But I wanted it. And I still has. Nice. Are there illegal custom parts here at the very end of the game? What's going on there? You think Chris is, on, is Captain America style? I don't know that he's Captain America style. I mean, I guess he kind of is. I feel like Chris is is kind of Captain America, -y, but also like Captain America like never gives up, you know? Like I'm okay. I can't get through. I'll find a way around and meet up with you. Like forever and ever. Oh. What are you doing down here? Can you stand, Parker? Thanks, Gia. How did he get down here? Jessica shot me. She's working for Morgan. Jessica.
was that? Ain't got ammo. Emergency stop for the steam. I don't think I can use it now. We're not getting past that. Jeez. Can't we turn it off or something? Yeah, we come back over here and push this button. Oh yeah, I got gotcha. you. Don't get cocky. It definitely slows your fire rate to use the charge shot. Just cuz. Can't leave it behind, right? says I say as I have to save Chris Yeah, I know. Well, I know, but I'm not leaving anyone behind. You're right, he is very Captain America, isn't he? Everyone, everyone gets out, or no one gets out. Ah, Chris Redfield. <laughs> I'm gonna save them all. <laughs> Hold on, I'm the gorilla, I'm here! Oh, no. <laughs> Has the gorilla got her leg? Holding her up by her leg. Oh no. Gorilla, get over there! There he is. <laughs> oh, no, Chris! Chris! Just know my night. God damn it! Good times, Jill. It was a nice ride. Oh no, Parker! See you guys. Parker! Oh, dude! Aww. 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 <laughs> oh, that sucks. Jill, we have to go. That's that's yeah. shitty, man. Man, I liked Parker though. Begin countdown for self-destruct sequence. Squad time. Yeah, we sure the fuck are. We're out of time and we're out of Parker. We got a burst six and a long magazine. What's burst six? Holy shit. Magnum burst. Yeah, right. I need a burst fire for my magnum. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Really? <laughs> Holy shit. I want my magnum to burst fire. Uh, excuse me? Yeah. Get the magnum burst fire. It needs to fire three shots. No, it doesn't. Yeah, dude. Three shots. I fucking hate. 
Really? Hold on. This needs to go back there because I'm actually I'm, I have a lot of hit, a lot of uh, machine gun ammo, so I'm gonna power up the machine gun. I can give it a long magazine four. I can make it carry 84 rounds, and it's burst fire. Which really, I actually don't want it to be burst fire. If I'm being honest, I really kind of don't. I think I just wanted to have a higher stopping power and just bam, you know, bam. Yeah, no, it's called burst six because it's the sixth burst upgrade, the sixth burst ability. There, there's there's bursts one through six um, and each one is a burst fire for a different weapon type. So burst one is handguns. Burst two, I actually think is shotguns, but I don't think you can get that in the campaign. Burst three, I believe is the uh, machine gun burst. And then burst four is the rifle burst. Uh, I don't know if what burst five is, but six is the magnums. One of them might, uh, one of them is a better burst for the, the handgun. I know uh, that might be burst five. Burst five might be the bigger handgun burst. Um, because the handgun, the the burst one is only a two shot burst for handguns, and I know there is a three shot burst. Ow! Stop it! What's up? I was completely not prepared for that. I have a magnum, so. That's a lot of tanks. We have three minutes left. The heal, at least, that's good. Which way up the ladder? I really hope it's up the ladder because I pushed the button and we're going. And reused Resident Evil pilot. <laughs> I tried to look out, but I failed. I'm working on it, Rias. Ow! I think I'm supposed to dodge those with the dodge mechanic. That difficult dodge mechanic I keep talking about in this game. Oh. Oh. God. I have no heals, Azores. Well, I have one. Which is why I have none, because I'm in danger right now. I'm sort of hoping the cutscene will heal me. <laughs> Unless there's no fight. Well, that hell 
helicopter's not going anywhere. Oh my god! The pilot. Don't worry about her later. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> There's no worrying <laughs> to be had. She's she's the deads. Tactical alert. Vessel approaching. Bearing one previous Resident Evil Revelation. Thanks so much for the follow. Hold it right there. Episode 11, Revelations. This is Hatrick. Do you read? Extraction is not possible at this time. I'll execute a holding pattern. Hatrick out. <laughs> I'm not fucking coming again, you know. <laughs> what have they created? You can do this, Chris. With handguns? No, you can't. <laughs> Oh, thanks, dude. Where's it at? Oh. Um. Right. That's not ammo. That's a rocket launcher. Bang. Oh, I guess I can scan. It's true. They're impossible to scan. Okay, I got one. Nice heal. <laughs> Is there another rocket launcher? Where's that? Where's that? Oh my god, way over there. You know. Hey. That's really stunning. I missed. I didn't miss. Where's my Magnum? Magnum! Ow! Dude, I need more! Ow! Oh my god! Stop it! Stop it! Go away! Boom. Hello? Well, it's pretty peaceful out here now. Is it over? Incredible, both of you. I'll drop down a ladder. Come on up. Did I win? I guess I won. Uh, I'm not. I'm not done yet. I'm not. Curious.
fucking Chris. <laughs> I'm on enough. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Ready, Chris? No! <laughs> Not this! Anything but this! No! I'm hitting it just fine. No, oh, please. Anything. <laughs> I'll do anything. <laughs> Oh no, I'm overheating! <laughs> the world back into its marvelous technicolor form. Not technicolor. Going through what? Where are we going? Oh god. <laughs> In Marvel <and> Spectacle. <laughs> this much fucking room in this thing's body for this many parasites? Ebus. There's so many. This is like actually sort of boring. Like, legitimately, this is actually sort of boring. Did we kill it? There we go. And that's all she wrote for the Zenobia. It's me. What's happening? On our way out. We lost Parker. Jessica took the whole ship down. The FBC? Well, Morgan. He was one step ahead of us the whole way. Yes, I see. I hate to think this could all be a mistake. My mistake. Come clean with us, O'Brien. Don't leave anything out. All right. It all started one year ago. Right there, Terra Grecia.
What? This isn't the end of the game? There's more? There's an epilogue? Oh, really? There's an epilogue chapter? I figured for, I mean, that was the end. That was the, that was the rocket launcher. I'm forever shamed. <laughs> I have 15 bullets. This place won't last much longer. Okay, so we have no right. bullets left. We should get to the command room. Oh, ow. There's hunters here. We have to hurry. Your HQ is done for. I mean, the idea right now is supposed to be that they have, they've been fighting in Terra Grigia this entire time. They've got nothing left. Commissioner Lansdale was right. Yeah. The boss has pushed for an expansion of the FPC's purview. This is just the kind of thing he was warning the world about. And this incident will bring the crisis to the limelight. It could be good PR, really. Yeah. Maybe the international community will finally get the message. BC has a lot of growing to do. I think that's the last of them. It's okay, I'll be fine. You hurt bad. Don't try to act tough. All right, somebody lend him a shoulder. Parker? HQ has told you to leave. Still fight. You're not convincing me. Come on, grab on. We can't pull out yet. There are civilians out there. We have to do something. Heavily outnumbered. We have to regroup. A handgun ammo along the way, so there definitely is going to be more fighting. You're too young to play hero. Earn some stripes before you get yourself killed. It's hopping. He's a hopper. This is what we wanted the last mission of the game to be. Not good. You're losing blood. This is the last mission of the game. Why? 
This was, this is, hmm. I don't think this is we something they okay. needed to fill in. This feels a little... Really? That's what we're doing right now? Finding something to bandage him up? Isn't there, isn't that what green herbs are for in this world? You, you use a green herb and you get full heals and stuff? Is there really a, more to read here too? The Federal Bioterrorism Commission was founded by the U.S. government to be the enforcing agency for the guidelines set forth in the National Species Protection Act. This document outlines the FBC's charter and the responsibilities of its members. The FBC is charged with the protection of the United States and her interests from biological threats. Our organization will work with other countries and their respective wildlife protection organs... Or... Organs? To... Wait, what? To guard public health. They're wildlife protection organs? Okay. I'm pretty sure that's meant to be organizations, but it says organs. Um, <laughs> as such, we are tasked with ensuring the biological safety of the public at large. The duties of all FBC members include the research, training, and support of the biological community. Policies will be, for fomented, will be fomented on a needs-only basis, with any additional budget expenditures and extraordinary activities being approved by a plen plenary? A plenary session of the Wildlife Protection Committee. The FBC chair is selected by the Wildlife Protection Committee. The Why is it wildlife? Anyways, the chair's duties include complete oversight of the FBC and coordination of all activities with respective U.S. Cabinet officials. The FBC chair is the final overseer of the National Animal Protection Community. So the FBC is protecting us from biological threats, but specifically animals. Is that what's going on here? They, there's, they're not actually helping humans against biological threats. They're specifically targeting animal protection, I guess. All members of the National Animal Protection Committee, Community are entitled to request help from the chair, including the secretaries of state and defense and the director of national intelligence. However, the chair has final authority on all matters of national biological safety. So the FBC was actually around to stop things like the shark zombies. That was their actual point. Was dem shark zombies that we dealt with the FBC is supposed to stop that. So Parker, it's nothing new, but are you a little hard on the new guy? You mean Raymond? The only way those guys will grow up is with a little towel snapping. <sighs> okay, fine. The guys in your little games. This is before then. This is way before then. This is a year ago. We're, we're in Terra Grigia right now, which is like the thing that the we thought the terrorist guys were trying to take event, revenge for. Is the event that went on here. They used the giant satellite laser to melt this city. Um, and this city was like a city that, it was the first city ever made that floated on water. It was a completely water, like it was it was a water city it, it it floated the whole thing floated um and uh they some terrorists unleashed some bio bioengineered weapons the hunters and uh the fbc decided to melt it they just melted the whole fucking city
Oh yeah, no. No, he definitely dies. Oh God. At least these hunters are kind of easy. Here we are. Just what I need. This should do for the meantime. What's annoying is that we've actually already been to this map. To me, you are not going to die. I order you to stay alive. We are coming. We've already done this map once. This is literally not only is this like breaking the momentum of the ending. But it's literally just reused content. You know? He literally just stood there and waited for me to come out of the door. I pressed the switch weapons button. Ow, fuck, there's so many. game was over, right, but then it's just uh, not. Hey, I get it. You want justice served. No more heroics. End up getting the whole unit killed. <laughs> Welcome to the real world. Yes, sir. Okay. That should ease the pain. Should be able to walk. Then follow us. The elevator to the command room is right there. Think you can move, Cadet? I can fend off anything that comes our way. He's right next to you. Activate the elevator, man. Something is off. What now? Think about it. The delivery and dispatchment of these POWs. It's too professional. And how do they manage to evade the NPC's vast intelligence network? It just doesn't add up. Unless somebody wanted this to happen. Cadet 
that you're stepping out of bounds. We're not here to investigate this thing. We're here to resolve it. It is, yeah. But Homer is uh, not that kind of guy. Or Parker. His hair is wild, yeah, I know. For the love of God, there's hunters everywhere. The command room's close by. Just keep our cadet alive. I know you're hurt, but try to keep up, cadet. I'm at my max. You only carry 120. Oh, jeez. Jill was able to carry fucking 600, man. What's up with this? I'll go through 120 machine gun bullets in like 10 seconds. There's nothing coming, but I think he's fine. We'll take care of this. Death. Oh. We'll find shelter in this man. So. I hope so. Let's hit the command room. Yes, I understand. I can hear you just fine. That is simply splendid news. Everything is in perfect order. Enjoy the rest of the celebration on the Queen Dido, Norman. Norman? Morgan. The Queen Dido? Intended for the virus to break out on our ship? Well, we've certainly been had. I'm not done yet. You still have an important purpose. The Queen Dido? The ship serves as a controlled environment, and the data on your mutation will serve a venerable purpose. Boldness of your self-absorbed ambitions is impressive. I am always disgusted by what you Americans can dream up. I will take that as a compliment. We knew that you could end up being a liability. So we've kept video records of all of our interactions. If they go public, your life is finished. You may do as you please. Use of the satellite has been approved. The new virus will be completely eradicated. You bastard! <laughs> Full soon shall thou be where thine eye shall answer make to thee of this, seeing the cause which raineth down the blast.
Wait. Okucho. Jessica has escaped. We were so close. Hey, hey. Sorry. Don't be so hard on yourself, Parker. Now it's my turn to save you. Come on. We're getting out of here. Oh, he didn't die. That's the spirit cadet. I almost think it would have been better if we had. Raymond realized that Morgan was not who he seemed, so we set this trap together. The whole Veltro Revival Act. The mountain hideout, and the coordination of the ships, all to put heat on Morgan? But sir, couldn't you have at least told us? I couldn't Unripped. risk it. Not with a mole inside the BSAA. My apologies. All that work. Both the Zenobia and the Samiramis. Yeah, I know. But I haven't given up yet. Keith and Quinn, they've left us with an ace in the hole. The data analysis they sent us, the results are in. Well, what were they? We assume Veltro made use of two sister ships in the Terragrigia panic. But there was a third. Final Queen. Is there seriously going to be more and more? There can't be. Are you for real? The game <laughs> this game's not staying its welcome a little bit. This game it might be out staying its welcome just a tad. Just just a just a touch. I mean, he did see, say Queen Dido, which, you know, I was like, what? The Queen Dido? That's a, that's a different ship. The Queen is dead. Episode 12. The final Queen. Yes, Queen Dido. She's been resting on the ocean floor since that day. Which means we'll find her. At Terra Grigia. Exactly. We have a responsibility to see this mission through. Why? O'Brien out. Where are we why are we going there? taking this show over. The BSAA is hereby under the direct supervision of the FBC. Clive R. O'Brien, you are under arrest for collaborating with the terrorist organization Veltro. In a fucking I'm not. I'm, <laughs> well, I'm surprised I make these things big enough for me. <laughs> Man, what the fuck? That's the Queen Dido. The third queen. 
Yeah. Congrats. Why this is a part of the game, I'm not sure. Why it isn't over already, I, I don't know. It's definitely overstaying its welcome at this point. Like, definitely, 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 definitely. Why are there shotgun shells? I'm underwater. It's rather quiet, but time itself has stopped. Lops we found on the beach. They came from here. That explains why Morgan cordoned off the area. My <laughs> hope rose underwater. Is there, like, going to be a section of the ship that isn't underwater somehow? And then... I mean, I guess we're wearing air canisters, so we'd still be able to breathe there, but... It's all... It's all monstery goopy. Uh-oh. Something's still alive! Careful. You won't be able to fight them off underwater. The rifle ammo case, I guess. understand why this I mean I do I get I mean I get they're they're trying to like fully complete the story but I just feel like they should have done it while we were still on in the main boat before we do the final battle because we clearly did a Resident Evil final battle it was a little easy and a little boring but it was clearly the final battle special rocket launcher and everything right so like, why are we? This door's got an electric lock on it. I hope the emergency power still works. The wires are all pulled apart. I'll fix them. Okay, I'll see if I can get the power going. You, you can't. There's a switch over there. Oh yeah. Oh. You insta die. I think I see how this is going to go. <laughs> okay. What's the point of this little room? For me to run away from the other one, I guess? Was it just like a legit wrong way? Okay. 
it just went that way. Oh. I guess I didn't need to. Okay. Okay, let's move in. Are they going to take off their oxygen masks? Because, like, that would probably not be a good idea. There's still I air. wouldn't. How long is there still air? It, I would leave the oxygen mask on. But, Who's I that? Mean, he hasn't been dead for long. What do you mean he hasn't been dead for is it? This ship has been down here for a year. He's FBC. There's something in his hand. This is Agent Dario Barioni of the FBC Armed Forces. The time is 1948. I request that this recorder be handed over to General Lansdale. If found by the next team, everyone on my team is dead. Killed by the devil himself. We were unable to retrieve the video log. Our mission has failed. Veltro, they weren't sitting around waiting for death to come to them. When the FBC arrived, they were waiting for us. Even though Terra Grigio was a year ago. Thoughts of revenge. Thoughts of revenge kept them alive. Sure it did. Mm-hmm. I believe you. They survived. Oh my god. In a cruise liner at the bottom of the ocean for a year. Spoiler alert. No, they didn't. How the rain maketh them like unto dogs. One side they make a shelter for the other. Oft turn themselves the wretched reprobate, reprobate I don't know. La Divina Comida Inferno Kendo. Something written at the edge of the passage in Sloppy Hammer. Those who offer their lives to the doctrine forever walk the path with the great Jack Norman. Why is it so fucking dark? Okay. It stopped being dark. Lydia Leon, 1970 to 2005. May your children grow up in a world not corrupted by lies and deceit. Okay. Bye. in remembrance of our 
shall there be rest. We rise from the dead, a spirit in jealous and immutable force. <laughs> Interactions are right in here. We shall become guardians of the truth for as many years as it may take. Why would you turn yourselves into monsters then? Why not just record that and be like, He has the video we can use to nail Lansdale. I don't, I don't understand his plan. I don't get it. Why not just be like, to thee who finds this, Lansdale was terrible, terrible person. Please use this evidence. Your boss is shit. Do not allow. Like, right? Right? I don't... I don't understand his plan, like, at all. I don't get it. But sure, I guess. Fire boss. Pate Satan, Pate Satan, Alepe. Norman, the final boss, Each for some reason. Shall find again his dismal tomb, shall reassume. Morgan! Morgan Lansdale! How dare you cross Veltro! He didn't. Morgan, this is what you seek, is it not? I'm not Morgan. <laughs> Indeed, this little machine contains the truth. How is he still? What? And then he just kind of drops it? After all that, you just kind of drop it? Alright. Thanks, dude. This Bye! We got the evidence. Yeah. I'm out. I thought you already did that. Why does he keep calling us Morgan? He's so confusing. This final act is not so good. You know? It's really not. Norman, stop! Morgan isn't here! It's no use. He's gone over the edge. Teleporting invisible Titan or yeah. Great. What the we need to lose him. We need to lose him? Oh 
Let's try and dodge. I do not remember this at all, to be honest. I wonder if this I wonder if this whole final act is like new to this version to the PS4 version of the game. Because I legitimately don't remember this. box I can literally just weapon box in the middle of the boss fight it's a little strange but okay Fake hymns. Oh, he was like behind me, I guess. That's not cool, dude. Jesus. I'm out of heels. One. can't really use the machine gun against him because he he need more stopping power than that I have no heals left again that attack was so fast I'm not sure how I could have reacted to it if I'm being honest look at that okay I got it Oh. He was apparently going to charge me. I need magnum ammo and I don't have any. This sucks. What the Oh, dodging in this game is a pain in the ass. I've never been able to pull off the dodging in this game reliably. What 
the hell happened? Revenge has consumed him. Nothing human remains. I think Chris stunned him. That was literally me trying to dodge. In case you're curious what, what I was doing there. I was trying to make sure I dodged. Unfortunately, because of the charge shot, I just have to get lucky with the shotgun the way I've got it. Why well, I'd really rather use the rifle, but to hit the real one of him with a rifle is like impossible. But I have no magnum ammo, so I'm not sure what to do in this case. Because it really seems like I need more firepower. But that's basically for me just the rifle. Jeez. See, I just dodged, and I don't really know why. I don't know if I could be attacking him during that phase or not. What? That hurt me? He's like a million miles away from me. How did that hurt? Okay, cool. Oh, it... Okay, I got a dodge off. Again, I don't understand. How did I... I pressed forward. According to the game, I'm supposed to have to, like, press X. And then, and press forward. Which just doesn't... Clearly... Mean much. Okay. He did the charge. Same spot. Go. Right, all about the rifle. I needed to just start using the rifle. I just should have been using my trusty rifle from the very beginning. Of course, he starts a fire in the ship that's underwater. Or he's just burning the bell Sal to a point. Treats his friends. <laughs> wow, Chris. Wow, Chris. Wow. I hope he finds more comfort in death than he did in life. of dispersion the cruise ship is equipped with a UAV that is your delivery system very well now show me the goods bona 
certified tea of this. No vaccine. Not yet. Yes, of course. A little bit of this could turn a city inside out. I think we're done. I'll be on my way. Who would have thought, yes? That the lowly terrorists would receive a helping hand from the venerable commissioner of the FBC. As you can see, it's not likely you'll be wriggling out of this one. I seem to have underestimated the BSAA. Perhaps you as well. We found this in the off-limits area near Terra Grigia. We're done analyzing it, so you can have it back. Director O'Brien, surely you understand our dilemma. Without the Terra Grigia panic, the ignorant masses would be unaware of the threat that lies before them. Yes, you may in fact be correct. No one has the right to detain me. The world required my guidance. It's all for the greater good. You're only fooling yourself. You said yourself, abandon hope, all ye who enter here. But I'm not Dante. You're not Virgilius. Morgan Lansdale, you are hereby relieved of your position as FPC commissioner. Placing you under arrest on suspicion of conspiring with Veltro in the planning and execution of the Terra Grigia panic. These guys are like, all right, I've heard enough. With I'm all out. due respect, Director O'Brien, the BSAA is making a huge mistake. Is it? Is it though? Where have I heard that? Bioterrorism Security Assessment Alliance. Why do I feel like that's not what it stood for in five? <laughs> I really don't remember that final boss. I mean, I know I only played this game through once, but I just don't remember the final ball. We can finally reveal what happened to Terra Grigia. Yeah, but the cost was high. The BSAA will have to be overhauled. I'll quit. The storm is gone now. But how long will it last? After Morgan Lansdale's arrest, the FBC was dissolved, with the majority of its agents and resources transferred to the BSAA. Chris quit. The BSAA would then be reformed into an anti-bioterrorism organization under the auspices of the United Nations. And Chris quits. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. In case you were concerned that they died in the bombing like it... Nobody dies. <laughs> Keith Loomley is now a leading figure at BSAA's East African branch due to his accomplishments at Valkyrian Moki. Quinn Ketchum, on the other hand, Ketchum, <laughs> continues to refuse promotion to any leadership position. He still works at the BSAA's main headquarters somewhere. Don't worry. Like I said, nobody dies. Happy as it, Happy ending as it can be. Parker Parker has found was found adrift offshore at the Republic of Malta in the Mediterranean Sea and was rescued. After a month of medical treatment, Parker returned to his position as a special operations agent for BSAA's main headquarters. Yeah, Parker should have died. Those two guys should have died. It the story would be better if they didn't just live just fucking because. Clive R. O'Brien decided to take responsibility for his actions and step down from his position as head of the BSAA. Would good. 
that is a good ending for this character. After what he did to do what he did, he really should step down. Like, it's understandable what he did, but it was not a good cap command decision. He is currently an advisor to the BSAA and also writing a detective novel from the comfort of his own home. Like, legitimately, he didn't do anything, like, bad enough that he should be, like, imprisoned for it. But, and as for Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield, they have no idea what horrific fate awaits them. Yep, because this game takes place directly before 5. One of the things that you don't know until that very end right there. That very end scene where they're walking up to that mansion. That is them walking up to the mansion that they go to in the DLC for 5. Which is where Jill gets captured by Wesker. So this game takes place directly before 5. Which is one of those questions for this game, like the whole time, is when is this taking place? Like, wh where where are we in the timeline? What has happened? And it takes at the very end, you get to know. They're like, oh look, this is where the this is what they're about to do. Whoa! Okay, I know where it happens now. This is the other character that you don't know what happened to. Almost too easy, wasn't it? The company let them take Morgan out with the trash. Tough world. You file the report on this. And by the way, why save Parker? I have my reasons. The BSAA isn't as useless as I thought. Things could really heat up. Indeed. Fun's just getting started. This cutscene looks amazing on the PS4 version. Pretty sure it didn't look anywhere near this good in the original. <laughs> Heck, I don't even know if it was in the original. I don't know what how much was in the original versus how much was in the remake, to be honest. So, Charge Shot 3. For clearing, clearing casual or difficulty or higher. The Hydra. For clearing normal difficulty or higher. No, we... <laughs> Yes, yes, we beat the game. <laughs> you now use the save data to start a new game with all your equipment intact. Would you like to save clear data? We strongly suggest you save it yourself. <laughs> because otherwise, the no moment you do something else, your auto save will be overwritten, and well, there you go. Holy moly, we did it. We got an A overall. Select outfit has been added to the campaign menu. You can now choose a new outfit for your character. <laughs> Confirm GG. <laughs> Select outfit. Raid mode. Okay, you can now select a new outfit. Except you can't, because you have to unlock them. <laughs> And in order to unlock them, you have to do stuff in raid mode. Which raid mode is actually a good amount of fun, if I'm being honest. But uh, yeah, we can't. I'm not. I'm not gonna do raid mode. I'm not gonna do raid mode. It. it I might do it in my own time, but I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here and stream it. I will. I will maybe show it off just a little bit. Um, raid mode, however, is made for in the in the new version. I don't remember if it was this way in the, on the 3DS version or not. I don't remember if it was multiplayer or not. But raid mode is multiplayer. Um, but you can you can play as... Well, right now, all I can play as is Jill, Chris, Parker, or... Uh, what was his name? Keith. Um, and each character has their own like stats. Like, she's better with handguns and machine guns. Um, you can change your weapons out, you know which we don't have much. All we really have is handguns right now. Um, and you can go to the store and spend your BP. Remember all that BP we've been getting? 
you can use your BP to buy new weapons. So we could buy these, and it's exactly what you might be thinking. These yellow weapons are magical weapons. They are more powerful, they're rare. Uh, like you can see this Jill Samurai Edge is level four and it has 417 firepower. Like, and we can buy upgrades like experience boosts, BP boosts. Um, you'll notice that I have a level. Um, so like we can buy all these different things and like these are consumable items that you can get. There's lots of really weird, interesting stuff in this. Um, the herb case ups your herb capacity, uh, additional storage, set weapons storage grid to 12 by three. Default is 12 by two. Hmm. I don't remember what that's for. Uh, I think that might be for like actually storing like your weapon in the weapons grid. Yeah. Yeah. There's only 12 by, it's 12 by two. Anyways, we can also, and then we have all these different stages because I've beaten a lot of the game. So because I beat all the game, I have all the chasm stages. The trench stages you unlock by doing the chasm stage above it, if I remember right. So crew quarters area one, recommend level one. We can go in. This mode, I actually played this mode on the 3DS version quite a bit. I thought it was a lot of fun. I got really into it. Um, even though it's literally just maps from the main game, um, like legitimately, they're not altered at all. It's just, you're just playing the game. Um, but instead of just playing now, I have enemies have health bars. I do damage. We can level up. Um, the scanner thing is completely removed from this mode. I got an old key for killing him. I found 100 BP. Oh, I needed the key to unlock that, that's right. It's not, th this isn't actually mercenaries. This 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 mode is entirely co-op and the levels are beatable. Um, this is not like, this isn't something that's like, oh yeah, we just survive as long as we can. Like, it, it's more like playing like an RPG almost. Like. Raid mode, like, that That monster has extra defense. Look at how big he is. He's super huge. He's got extra, extra deeps. I need to, he's going to be tough. He's going to be a toughie. I do crits when I hit the head. You can see, I do extra damage. I got an illegal custom part for killing him. Noise. And it's, it's, it's fun. It's, and like I said, it's multiplayer. Um, I don't know if it's multiplayer, same console. I know it's, but I know it is multiplayer. Oh God. Hello. Wow. That was some fast melee. He did not stand a chance. Also reload like a god too. Yeah, it's a fun mode. Oh God, he's like all fast. He's tiny. He's a tiny fast guy. 963 damage. It is a little weird that you like immediately get the drops when you kill a monster. Like if you kill a monster and it's gonna drop something, you immediately get it. Another green herb. Oh. Nothing there. But like the levels are just, like I said, they're. It's basically just like playing through the episodes. 
basically. Which is one of the reasons why I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna play it. Something you never knew you wanted until just now. <laughs> Right? Especially with all like the, the like firepower stats that are in, in that are in uh, Resident Evil. Like, you know your guns do different damage from each other because there's like firepower statistics. You can upgrade your firepower statistic. So you know, you, you, but you have no frame of reference other than that you know the Magnum hit big and other weapons not hit as big. Oh look, a little collectible thing. No, you knew your Okay, managed to get through that. Right? Low level bonus. Your level was lower than the recommended level. Plus 292 BP. You defeated all enemies. Plus 320 BP. 459 experience points. Not quite enough for a level up. Illegal custom parts. Critical one. Nice. And so that's what you do. And it's a fuck, it's a huge ass grind fest. Like seriously, it is a huge grind fest. And like, if you want to unlock other characters, you need to clear all stages of the chasm, reach player level five, reach player level 10, reach player level 20, clear all stages on trench with an S rank. Clear all stages on abyss, which is the highest difficulty. Acquire Trinity bonus for the first time. Do a bunch of stuff. You know, get 100 bonuses. Collect all the super rare weapons. Acquiring 10 bonuses gets you outfits. Need super rare weapons. Also, these, uh, these other, like... Like, there's two other Jills, right? And they're just different outfits. But it also changes what skills Jill has. So there's three different Jills that you can play as. This Jill, you know, reloads handguns 100% faster and has a higher firing rate and reloads machine guns faster and has a higher firing rate. But this Jill might use shotguns and this Jill might use rifles. You know, you never know. Um, I think there are actually new levels as well, like the ghost ship. I think that's a different level. Um, I don't remember how you unlock levels. I honestly thought it was by beating the level above it. I don't remember. I don't remember how to unlock the, tren the trench levels or what they even are. Um, the time there is your total time you've spent playing this mode. It's fun though. Uh, it definitely would be more fun with uh, with more more people. Uh, with, you know, more fun. Um, but. It's fun all the same. It is. It's it's entertaining. Play with someone on the PlayStation Network. Play with, play with your friend or someone you invite. It is, I think, only two player, if I remember right. I don't think I don't think it had it, it supports more than two people, but that's fine. That's all it needs to be. A little bit of a co-op co-op mode for the game, basically. Cuts all the storyline out. You just play the levels in co-op mode, basically, with RPG mechanics. It's fun. But anyways, um, I actually, I know it's almost 9.30. I really should not start a new game, um, but I'm bad at being responsible and I don't really care that much right now. So I'm, we're gonna, we're gonna decide at the very least what the new game is going to be. Um, so I'm gonna throw up a poll here. Uh, 